Hey guys, Roland from Red Moto. So today we're going to be working on this 2017 Toyota Highlander passenger side fender removal and installation of a brand new pre-painted color match fender from RedMoto.com, your pre-painted auto body part source. So if you guys need this fender for your vehicle, go to RedMoto.com, your pre-painted auto body part source, or we sell bumpers, fenders, hoods, side view mirrors, and also accessories for your vehicle, tail lights, headlights, uh, Basically anything you guys need, we can get it for you. So go to RedMoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. And also, this fender right here is going to be a link up above and down below. So you guys can go ahead and purchase it. So let's go ahead and get started with this vehicle. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and turn this wheel uh, going this way. So we can get into those bolts right here along the fender liner. So I like to work from the bottom to the top. It's a lot easier that way so the fender doesn't fall. But let me show you guys what I'm working with right now. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this fender. Um, it's not a fender, it's a mud guard right here. We're gonna take that off with a uh, 10 millimeter right here. And then we're gonna continue on taking off these uh, push pins. They go all around. So I think there's uh, one right here also. And then you feel it, it's gonna be another one right here. And then another one right here. Well, that one's uh, actually gone. What's another one right there. And that push pin I'm talking about is like right there. And then we're gonna go right down here with another 10 millimeter. Let's go ahead and get started. So on that one right there, it's gonna be 10 millimeters. So all you need is a 10 millimeter socket right there. Go ahead and take that off. And that bolt looks like that. It's gonna be two of those. And right down here, there's going to be a push pin. I'm going to take that off with a fly head. So if you guys look in the bottom of this, uh, this mud guard, there's like that uh, attachment right there. And that's where I got that uh, push pin right there. So I'll, we're going to go ahead and take off the rest of those push pins. Again, there's going to be one right here. All right, so now we got the back side of the fender. We're going to go to the front near the bumper. We took this one last. Now we're going to go ahead and remember there's a one right here, but it's uh, already gone. Another one right here. So just go ahead and again, just follow it up with your fingers and you'll feel it where every one of these are at. That's the last one. So right there, it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. Just get your 10 millimeter socket. And it looks like that. All right, once those push pins are gone and also the, those 10 millimeter bolts on each side is gone, I believe we can go ahead and pull this fender uh, flare off or molding. I'm using my hands. So this one's pretty easy. So let me just show you what I've done already. So on this fender flare or this molding right here, you can just uh, go ahead and take it off by just pulling on it because it's just held on by these little clips right here. So they're fairly easy. When you get to the bumper side, you get these clips right here. So you gotta kind of pull a little bit harder because they're held on by like stronger uh, clips. But I tried pulling over here and I couldn't get it off but I want to force it because I don't really need to go all the way down there. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let it be like that. But then right here where this uh, fender attaches to this little, um, I guess little cover plate, the painted portion, you see like back there, let me show you guys. Right back there there's going to be a push pin. I don't know if you guys can see that but it's right there, there's a push pin. So I'm going to wedge a uh, fly head and get that off. Yeah, so I'm gonna try my best to show you guys while working this camera also. 
little flathead. Goes right there. Just gotta be careful. There we go. Pop that off. Comes off right there. If I put my finger in here, there's like a uh, like a tab, but I'm trying to push up on that tab that's uh, actually holding on to the fender, molding. All right. So right underneath here, there's actually another push pin. So let me show you guys that. This is a push pin right underneath here. So let me just see if I can get an angle on that one. There it is, right there. Let me see. <laughs> All right. So that push pin. Get a flathead again. Go underneath the car and you see where this uh, step fits right here? If you don't have one of those, it's going to be a lot easier for you guys to see but there's a step right here. Right underneath there, right behind it, you'll see the push pin. So now, we should actually be able to take it off. Alright, so lesson here is, we actually didn't have to take off this push pin on the back of it. I'm going to put that one back in. but. If you guys take off this push pin on the bottom, now it released the whole bumper. I mean the uh, molding for the fender. So we're just gonna push that to the side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate on this uh, this bolt right here. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter that we gotta take off. So let me show you guys that uh, bolt that I'm trying to take off. So once you get, get that molding out of the way, push it back, and then you'll see that, that 10 millimeter right there. Alright, so use a 10 millimeter uh, socket and win an extension and that should uh, go ahead and take that off. So again with a 10 millimeter and an extension right there. Get it. Right down here. Now let's see if there's anything else that we need to take off. So if you guys come around over here, there's gonna be a it's like a, um, I guess a holder, I forgot what they call it. But it's like a plastic piece that goes inside the, uh, the fender liner right here that attaches this uh, fender to the fender liner. If you guys got a fly head screwdriver, that'll work also. But you guys kind of, this one's like a panel removal tool set. Like that, it looks like that. And you just kind of wedge it in there. It's kind of hard take off but if you're lucky enough it won't be that bad so what you're trying to do is try to get that uh, tab to pull up and when you get one tab out you go to the other tab ah there we go we got one tab okay let me show you guys how this one looks like Ah, let me get away from this. Alright. So this tab looks like this. And all you do is try to wedge that flathead and push this tab down. And then once that one releases, you go to the back and take that one off. And that should release it. So you got like one, two. I think you got one, two. Two of them so far. Actually, it's only these two. So, flat it actually looks a lot better. Uh, finally, got that one. I don't know why they put this on here. I already have that push pin. So let's work our way around. See if there's anything else that we need to take off on the fender side or fender liner side. 
Nope, that's it. It's only those two right there. All right. So once you guys have this uh, molding out of the way, and also like this fender flare, those two uh, little plastic pieces over there taken out, now everything is disconnected. So the fender liner is not in the way. We have this piece right here. Looks like we can just go ahead and pull it. There we go. Get that out of your way. And basically now we have this bracket right here that we gotta take off. I don't think we gotta take off the whole bumper, but we do have to. There we go. So over here we gotta take this piece off so we can kind of move this a little bit further out. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, so if you guys come over here, you're gonna see this little piece right here. It's just a flathead. You turn it this way, you hear that click, and then go up on it and then pull it up, pull it back. And that should release it. There you go. And pull that tab off. And now you can move that bumper out of the way so now when you have this bumper out of the way a little bit you're gonna go right here and inside this hole right here there's a 10 millimeter bolt you gotta take off so get a 10 millimeter and pull this back a little bit and then go right here and looks like that Now let's see if it moves. So you just gotta pry it pry with a fly head. So basically it's like this little tab right here that's on there and I just gotta pry this part off of the fly head. So now let's see if that comes off. There we go. Now it's coming off this bracket right here. Don't force it out. Let's see what we what are we missing here. So then you just pull it. Rotate it. Ah, there you go. So just pull that bracket off like that. Now, we're left with a couple more screws over there. So if you guys pull this fender back, you're gonna see like two more 10 millimeters right there. Take that off. Wow, that was an adventure on that, uh, on that bracket right there. I've never seen that before. I guess they're just trying to make it more difficult for me. But it's okay. That's why I'm gonna teach you guys. All right, so take that off. Right, so there we go, we're almost there. Almost there, George. All right, so we got a uh, 10 millimeter off and 10 millimeter off. So let's see, I'm gonna go to the other side where the door is. So we're gonna go ahead and open this door and right here there should be some more bolts. So let's see where it is. So this one right here, I'm gonna take that off. But behind the door, what I could see is another bolt, but it's taken from inside of the uh, fender liner, behind the fender liner. So let me show you what it looks like. There's more right there. See this bolt right here? It's threaded in going this way. So I know the bolt is the bolt head is back there, or the back of the bolt is back there. So we actually have to remove this cover from behind the fender. But, the one I'm trying to take off up top, is this one right here. That's the one that's like on near the uh, side view mirror area. So let's go ahead and take that off, that's a 10 millimeter. So you guys can see it. So the bolt's right here. Use your 10 millimeter. Be careful not to damage the door. There we go. Release it and take it off. Alright, so behind this fender liner right here, 
we're gonna go ahead and find that secret bolt that Toyota's trying to make it harder in our lives. So go ahead and uh, take off this cover right here. Yeah, you just pull this plastic piece off behind there. Really? All right, pull it off like that. Wow, Toyota, thank you so much for making it hard on us. So hopefully, I'm not blocking the camera. It's right here. Nope, I think this came right off. All right, so we're almost there. Let's go that bolt right there. Hopefully there's no more secret bolts anywhere. All right, so now we gotta pop the trunk. No, that's not a trunk, that's a hood. Pop the trunk. Pop the trunk again. Pop the hood. Alright, now the hood is open. Alright, so now that the hood is open, we know for sure there's going to be a 10 millimeter right here. So hopefully we don't take off the, the headlight, but we'll see how everything goes. There's going to be a 10 millimeter right there. Take that off. So the cover should just be pushed up. Yep, push it up. And then you reveal these two bolts right here. So you're gonna reveal those two bolts right there. One and two. Let me see if I can take this off. Alright, I think that's it. Let's see. Nope. Of course not, Toyota. Of course not. Is there a bolt back here? So once these two bolts are off right here, there's going to be a cover plate up here. You guys, uh, there's going to be a cover plate right here. It's going to be this triangle thing. Or, it looks like a triangle. But it's just, uh, it's just clipped on by these things right here. If you just push up on it, you just kind of pull on it, it'll come right off. Put that to the side. And then, well, right back here. Where is it? Where are you? Right back here is another bolt. So let me take that off. So, uh, 10 millimeter socket and an extension. All right. There you go. Right there. Yes, it is. It is the last one. Let me pull it off for you guys. So now, up here, remember, you have that uh, headlight. You just push up on it like that, and it should come right off. Oh, this one's broken. So this, this headlight is broken, but if you pull up on it, it should come right off. And then, there you go. The fender comes right off. So it looks like the only thing you need on this uh, old fender is this piece right here. I'm gonna turn it around and just push down on this and it'll come right off. I caught it. Looks like that little piece right there. We're gonna put that on the new fender. Alright, so now I have that new fender right there. Put this piece back on there. And right now we're just gonna line it up how we found it. Oh, 
blocking the view. So I'm gonna go this way first, slide it in first this way. Alright guys, so that's how you install a 2017 Toyota Highlander passenger side. It also works for the driver side fender. Thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, I do want to thank you again for watching our great videos. If you guys need any parts for your vehicle, the ones that you guys see in our videos, or anything else, go to RevMoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. We sell bumpers, taillights, headlights, uh, touch-up bottles, everything that you need for your vehicle, go to RevMoto.com, your pre-painted and accessories parts store. Also, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on your push notification for more great videos like this one. Thank you.